You've tuned into Business Tonight right here on ET Now. All right, Ratan Tata has just minutes ago launched the quintessential book on the Tata brand. It was a special occasion and every top CEO of the Tata group was present. We bring you the author of that book on the spot tonight is Morgan Witzel, the author of Tata, the Evolution of a Corporate Brand. Morgan, great to have you with us on the show. I'll get into the history of for the book in just a bit. But first up, how much of a role does a nano really play in the book? Its role is a very recent one, obviously. But it, I think it's been a very important uh, element in helping build recognition of the Tata brand outside of India. The amount of press coverage it's had outside of India has been quite phenomenal. But of course, the Tata brand is an extremely old one. The antecedents of the Tata brand go, of course, right back to the founding of the company in the 19th century. Um, so the, the Nano, if you like, capitalizes on values of the Tata group that were already there and kind of puts them forward in a new and much more innovative 21st century way. And that's a really fascinating thing about it, in a way, is how the Tata group have been able to turn these kind of old, well, really quite old values of trust and reliability and service to the community into this really cutting-edge new product. Of course, Morgan, uh, Nano being the turning point, uh, a small uh, car makes a big move for the company. But I should ask you, in your book, what attributes of leadership have you picked up uh, that suggest that these are the ones that actually contribute to the Tata brand? I think the number one element that I've noticed is one that they talk about themselves, which is trust. Um, Tata's leaders talk continually about trust and the need to earn trust um, in consumers and employees and, and other stakeholders. Uh, the other one, I think, is a kind of genuineness, or as, as they're very fond of saying, walk the talk. Um, as Rotten Tata told me, it's not enough to say that you're going to do something. You really have to then do it. Words by themselves mean absolutely nothing. Right, Morgan, uh, capitalizing on the Asian identity, which has become a positive tag across the world, do you think uh, that has added to their ability in reaching out globally, really? You know, they've been venturing out uh, outside of India quite a lot over the last five years. I think it's something that will carry a great deal of weight as they continue to go global. Um, at the moment, as I say, there's still this uncertainty as to what Tata actually stands for. And there's uncertainty about India, too. There's a great deal of... I mean, let's be quite honest about this. There's quite a lot of ignorance in the West as to what the real nature of the Indian economy is. Um, and there certainly is a lack of awareness of just how incredibly innovative India is. People tend to think of India in terms of IT. They simply don't realize there's so much else going on as well. That's now. I mean, but I think we are seeing a real sea change. And again, I'll refer to this British delegation at the moment. I think things are changing and changing very rapidly. And I think Tata's... Indian heritage is going to become a real source of strength for it in the wider world over the decade or so to come. Morgan, as we speak to you, we're showing our viewers the entire top management of the Tata Group, which was present there as your book was being launched by Ratan Tata. It's certainly been an honorable movement, mo moment for them, but what's more important is that your book highlights a chapter on employee and the employer. So you feel that Tata as a brand is a great brand even for those working for the company. Can you elaborate on that a bit? I think that's part of it. Um, I mean, of course, there are feel-good companies in other parts of the world, too. In a way, I think it's more than that. There's something about Tata's employer brand as well, which stimulates people to become more innovative. I mean, we referred earlier to the Nano. I mean, that was, that's a really good example, I think, of Tata people really going the extra mile and doing something which a lot of other people thought was impossible. And I think that is going to probably become much more important in establishing Tata around the world than, than just the feel-good factor. The feel-good factor is important, but actually a culture of pride and innovation is something that is actually much more important still. Right, Morgan, obviously the Tata brand has been around for a while now, but if you were to, you know, in a sense, pick out an era that you know, was the turning point uh, for the Tatas, what would that be? My impression is that the turning point comes in the 1990s after Ratan Tata took over as chairman. And he, in the words of pretty much everyone that I talked to, has been the catalyst for the brand building exercise that's gone. He said himself, b before this time we had a reputation, we had a great reputation, but we didn't have a brand. And his 
insight, I think, was to understand that in order to grow this company or grow this group, more correctly, and turn it into a global enterprise, that a strong corporate brand was needed. Also, that a strong corporate brand was going to be essential in bringing about greater cohesion within the group. And I think that, to me, that's been the real turning point, was, was those two insights. Morgan, we're almost done with time, but I should ask you, there's one place where you mentioned the spirit of boldness. It's possibly something that even many other uh, corporations or promoters could learn from. Can you share an instance, a moment, or an event that defines that spirit uh, in your book? Well, again, I think the Nano is an excellent example of it. Uh, again, this is, this is an idea which no one thought was possible. Could you actually build a functioning quality automobile and sell it for one lakh of rupees. Nobody thought it was possible. Tata proved that it was. I think also another one which has really resonated with me was the establishment of Titan in Tamil Nadu and this decision to build a plant in the middle of a very underdeveloped area and to train local people. Again, that's not something that a timid manager would ever think was possible. Tata thought it was possible. They also proved it was possible. Um, the other example I referred to in the book are this, the Jago Ray campaigns that Tata T has been running, trying to stimulate social change. That's an extremely bold thing to do. I can't think of many Western companies that would embark on that kind of advertising. Okay, thanks very much, Morgan. Appreciate your time. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. That is the Tata brand book this evening launched, and that's an exclusive interview with the author here on ET Now. Still ahead is another big story of India in sport. Saina Nehwal gets the Kale Ratna. That's coming up.